One of the country's top comedians, Brian Dore from the famous Clark and Dore comedy duo, has returned to where he grew up to launch a very unusual comic exhibition at the Maritime Museum in Port Adelaide. It pays tribute to the fictitious inventor Henry Hoke, whose work was recently rediscovered with the help of Adelaide-based Institute of Backyard Studies. <laughs> What do you think of perhaps his simplest invention, the leg puller? Well, I think the leg puller probably was the antecedent of the idea of the random excuse generator. You know, there, there are mysteries in the science of the 1940s we still don't understand. It, he was on very good terms with Einstein. Einstein signed science letter Bert. When you look at the great inventions Australia came up with, um, it's never taken itself seriously when it comes to inventions. I mean, you know, the wine cask, for example, um, zinc cream. We know that these things come, the double flushing toilet, for example, all Australian, nobody knows about this. So they just, you know, sit down and can push one or two buttons and they, they don't understand where it comes from, nor do they care. You know, they put the, green, the zinc cream on. Nobody thinks, well, that's amazing. You know, I'd like my son or daughter to come up with something like that. How important is it to have an Institute of Backyard Studies? Oh, I think it's critical. I think when you're looking at what history we have here in invention, we should be celebrating this. And why, this is why I think this uh, exhibition is so important. So our young kids can be inspired by things like the random excuse generator, the leg pull, the long weight, uh, and, and the, the various coloured paints, of course, the polka dot paints, the stripe paints. I mean, these are brilliant. Nobody, would, okay. nobody else in the world comes up with anything like this. Ian, I think you'll find this really interesting as a person interested in history. This, uh, Henry Hoke's Quack of Doom. Mark, could you explain a couple of things about this? Certainly, certainly, Brian. The random excuse generator? The, the, the drama being gasified there, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I first came across Henry Hoke at, at a garage sale. I found a number of rather mystifying tools. Uh, they were giggle pins and chuckle valves in, in a couple of old boxes, and I'd never heard of these things. And, and, uh, and it said it was, these things were made by Hoke's Tool Company in Hoke's Bluff, apparently in South Australia. And he made leg pullers too, I believe. Oh, leg pulls. He was probably the inventor of the manual chainsaw too, uh, which later got overtaken by the clockwork chainsaw, as it turned out. But there's others that have got fantastic stories behind them, like the clockwork car. Uh, I mean, all we found of Henry's famous, incredibly fast clockwork car, well, it went very fast for a while and then would slow down, but it is the giant wind-up key. And, and that key was all that was left of the great explosion that happened when the mainspring broke. And we see the, the learning curve as well. He invented oh, the learning curve, didn't he? The it? learning curve, yeah. A, a thing that's become uh, an, an expression in the English language. Probably originated right here in South Australia. It was part of what he called his sceptical apparatus. So it's uh, a steep learning curve too. It's very it? steep. And funny enough, it, it hits your knee. Right, uh, that's where it ends. And I, I think it was really something he just left around the workshop to remind him not to leave things on the ground. And tell us about the barbed wire watering can. Well, the barbed wire watering can was an early water conservation device, along with his waterproof taps. And of course, uh, the Hoke family was well known for their um, dehydrated water pills, you know, which was the basis of their uh, modest fortune that they accumulated in Hoke Bluff. But yeah, water conservation, he was, you know, almost half a century ahead of his time. I mean, there are many, many lessons to be learned from Henry these days. What's your favourite? The random excuse generator, I can't get past that really. I mean, you know, well, I know for a fact in the state, last state election, that the building where it was housed was broken into, and there were people whose names we won't mention, that uh, at the time needed a random excuse generator, um, in very large doses. So, um, Yes, I think, uh, I think he's just going to have to be careful with it. I'd, be, uh, I'd have an SAS unit uh, coming up to the election surrounding it. Mm -hmm.